If you have a list in Excel, you can filter. So what constitutes a list in Excel? Well, here's a list here. A list by definition means that each column has a column heading. So I have a column called last, first name, last name, region, department, year, and so on. Each column has a column heading. Now you can have a row without an entry in a particular cell. For example, I could click in this cell and delete it, and that would be okay. But what you can't have is an entirely blank row. If I was to insert a row, what Excel would believe is what was above row 10 was one list, and what was below row 10 was a second list. So you can't have a blank row, but you can have a blank cell. So let's get rid of this blank row. So we have a list where we have a column heading at the top of each column. We have records, and in fact to work out exactly how many records we've got, I'm going to hold the control key and hit the down arrow. When I go control down arrow, I'm immediately thrown to A271, which minus the column headings means I have 270 records. If I press control up arrow, I'll go back up to the top. Now that we have a list, we can filter, and there's a variety of ways to filter. One way on the Home tab in the ribbon is to go to the Sort and Filter button and utilise the options under here, and particularly the option called Filter. Another way to filter is to go to the Data tab in the ribbon, where you'll find that there's a Sort and Filter group, and in the Sort and Filter group you'll see you also have a Filter button. Now what's quite useful is if you do a lot of filtering is to add this button to your Quick Access toolbar. If you're not sure what your Quick Access toolbar is, that's this little toolbar in the top left corner. I'd like to customise the Quick Access toolbar, so I'm going to click this button here on the far right end, and I'm going to choose the last option, which is to show the Quick Access toolbar below the ribbon. Now that the Quick Access toolbar is below the ribbon, I can clearly see what buttons I have in my toolbar, and I've got all this room here spare, to add extra buttons to my Quick Access Toolbar. Now I'd like to add a button, and it's the Filter button. To do this, I'm going to right-click the option Filter, and left-click Add to Quick Access Toolbar. And now I've got a button I can utilise whenever I want to quickly filter a list. If I was to click this button, the filter's turned on. It's indicated by the shadow that appears behind the filter buttons, but also, more importantly, by the drop-down that now appears at the top where every column heading is. If I click the filter button again, you'll see those drop-downs will disappear and reappear. If you're a shortcut key person, you may notice when I rest on the filter button that it does mention that the shortcut key combination is Ctrl-Shift-L. If I was to press Ctrl-Shift-L, I'll turn on the filter, and Control shift l will turn off the filter. So you've got a variety of ways in which you can turn the filter on. But let's turn the filter on, and let's have a look at doing what they call an exact filter. And that is, I want to filter out exactly those records that come from a certain region. And the region I'm after is Auckland. So to filter out all the records that come from the region Auckland, hit the drop down to the right of the column heading region, Unselect all, so take this tick off, and tick Auckland. When you click OK, you'll have applied an exact filter, and that is you exactly wanted those records that came from the region of Auckland. Now I can tell a filter is applied because down here in the lower left of my status bar, 18 out of 270 records were found. So the number of records that matches your criteria or your filter is always indicated in the lower left, and we have 18. Also, your row numbering has gone blue. The only time your row numbering goes blue is if there's a filter applied. And also, the little down triangle to the right of the column heading region has now acquired a little funnel symbol. And when I rest my mouse on the funnel, it says the region equals Auckland. So that tells me where the filter is coming from, that particular column heading. Now if I wish to clear the filter, there's a variety of ways as well. Some people will click the drop down and simply click the option clear the filter from region and that clears the filter from this particular column. You can see my row numbering is no longer blue and I've gone back to my 270 records. Let's just undo that. That was one method to clear the filter. 
Another method might be to hit the drop down yet again and to tick select all. And when I go OK, again I've cleared the filter. But there is another way as well. I'm going to go undo and I want to add yet another button to my quick access toolbar. The button that I'm after on the data tab in the ribbon is the button clear. If I right click the clear button and left click add to quick access toolbar, that button now appears in my quick access toolbar and is a very handy way to clear all filters, not just a particular column, but all filters that are affecting a list. I can then click this button and clear a filter whenever I want to. Or if I go undo, another way to clear the filter and also turn the filter off completely is just to click the filter button and remove the filter. When you remove the filter from a list, it automatically returns all the records.